are listening to the FTWpodcast.com, where we talk about wrestling in all of its laughable glory. Here's a clip from this week's episode. A big event coming out of uh, Victory Road, Devon uh, won the TV title at Victory Road. Now, are you guys happy he won, and do you think it's a mistake that Devon actually got the title before Bully Ray? Uh, anybody besides Rob? Have an opinion. Rob, go. <laughs> uh, um, yes. I, I, I'm happy that he won, only because I absolutely cannot stand Robbie E. Um, other than that, I don't know why they gave Devon a title before Bully Ray. Um, Rob, they, it's, they, it, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. They keep they keep teasing Bully Ray as like a, a legitimate. Uh, world title contender, and he is. I mean, Bully Ray's got great mic skills. He's turned in some awesome, uh, awesome promos. He's had some great feuds. He's really been pushing the main storyline that TNA needs to be pushed right now. And Devon gets the title. I don't care if it's a shitty title. It's a title. Um, Devon is gone for vast swaths of time. And they give him a title before Bully Ray. It's fucking ridiculous. Here's the uh, reason. Here's the reason, Rob. Bully Ray doesn't need a title to get over. Yes. Yes. There you go. Exactly. It. That's a good point. Because he, he's just he's he's amazing on the mic. He's got the ring skills. He's a fantastic heel. Devon can't find a place to fit. So the only way to try and get him over is to put him in this instance. Uh, all right. So from the chat, uh, Robbie E did more with TV title than anybody else. Fie on you, Rob. Uh, it's just a TV title. No, uh, he Billy. didn't. He stood around and came out every pay per view and did a and did the stupid open challenge gimmick. That is not doing more with the title than anybody else. Who else did it better? Thank Eric you. Young, Eric Young did it better. Eric Young. Thank you. Yes, Eric oh, Young did. It. Eric Peter Young did it better King when he beat up on people who, on people he thought were Hollywood stars. Eric Young didn't wait in the ring for someone to challenge him. He went out and found people to. Challenge he drove him. cross country looking for people to fight. That's because Robbie E is clean shaven and therefore not manly enough to actually go out and challenge you. Uh, it's Fair, just team beard. Team Beard. Uh, it's just a TV title. Bully still got a chance for the major. Uh, another one, Devon deserves it. I think that this gives him a chance to really do something with the TV title now that actually has some more attention. Uh, Ray is clearly the better heel and is higher on the card, but Devon deserves it for all the hard work. Uh, I hope he gets the TV title, gets at least some attention or treated better now. And uh, finally, it's okay. a slap at Billy. Oh, I'm sorry. What what did Devon? Uh, I'm, I'm curious to whoever in the live chat posted this. Okay. What did Devon do? To deserve the title. Okay, okay, well, okay, okay. Don't start that discussion now. One, do one more, then I'm going to toss some red meat at you guys, and I want you to discuss this. Uh, next one up, it's a slap in Bully Ray's face, and he will just make him that much more heel-ish. Uh, Bully has been awesome on the mic. I'd hate to see it go that way. Uh, does one sentiment. I'm half on that. Here's the other one. I think this is the beginning of the end of Devon as a professional wrestler. I would agree with that. Yeah. I think this is his sunset. It's a good point. He wins the TV give title. Him single, give, give him one singles title. Yeah, I can yep. see that. And, and Bully, it's good. Bully Ray is going to be pissed for this exact reason. He hasn't won gold. Devon gets the title. He's going to be furious. They're going to have a feud. And Devon's, and it's going to be some kind of retirement match. Devon's retired. And then maybe we'll see Bully. Well, I don't want to say we'll see Bully Ray do a face turn. But I think this is the sunset of Devon Dudley as far as a professional wrestler. Are you because, trying to suggest that Bully Ray is going to have to end the era? How else would you do it? I mean, the, the Dudleys have quote-unquote retired as a tag team, so they're not coming back for that. Uh, they're both single wrestlers at this point. Devon is clearly more interested in his school than he is on being on TV, and now he has the TV title. Well, here, here's the question, Harrison. You said he start, you, that you think Bully Ray's going to turn face. I just want to clarify no, this. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, I, I just, I, I, it's like, oh, almost, like it, maybe he'll turn him and go face. I don't know. I mean, because well, I mean, if he were going to turn face, he would actually probably come to Devon's rescue at some point, like in a post career match beatdown. Like he's, you know, he loses the match. He's getting the shit kicked out of him. Bully Ray comes down, saves him. You know, it's like one last Team 3D reunion before. Devon leaves. All right, Chet has a good point. Devon has been working out hard, though, in the last few months. He's dropped Whitney's got more cut. Why would you do that only to retire? I personally don't know. I just, when I see this turn of events, I just can't help but look at it. Is how many years does Devon. It's because nobody wants to have a body built like mine. 
That's TNA. why he's been working out. <laughs> TNA, TNA has nothing for Devon right now. That uh, I, I mean, the last time DNA, uh, TNA had, DNA. <laughs> the last time TNA yeah. had Devon in major ring action before this was the whole little feud he had with uh, the, the Pope. Head. The, the Pope D'Angelo De Niro uh, yeah. and that was a train wreck yeah. they've got nothing for him so uh, I agree with Harrison I think Devon is you know he, he's probably ready to wrestle if want if needed he'll take the extra money he might wrestle a few matches in defense of the belt but I think he's on his way out Devon has made it clear that he is much more focused on training new wrestlers than he is um, himself advancing, uh, advancing his just, own career. And that might be something you need to get in shape for too. If you're going to train young guys on how to be pro wrestlers, it might help if you're in shape and yeah. can keep up with them. Well, you know, Ro- the Rocky movies would disagree with you. Uh, yeah. It's just, I look at this and I'm, I'm half with, um, the chat on look, Bully Ray is going to be near this anyway. I mean, this is a perfect opportunity to have Bully Ray and really put Devon over as a face to have Bully Ray kind of the two of them kind of reigniting their feud around the TV title. It gets Bully Ray somewhere on some gold, not the main event gold title picture, but there you go. But I just can't help but look at this and think, how many years does Devon have left in him? Uh, he was clearly between Devon and Bully Ray. He was clearly the least athletic one. They were both still charismatic when they were Team 3. But, I mean, they, they were he was the least athletic one. I can't imagine that Devon would have many years left in him. Devon was the power guy in that, in that, in that team. Yeah, right. he wasn't like the agile one. He wasn't, he wasn't the one where you looked at and went, this guy is going to be wrestling into his 60s. He was, yeah. uh, he was also a guy who could cut a good heel promo, but Bully Ray just buried him. Like, yeah, he could, Devon could cut a good heel promo. But then you looked at Bully Ray, and Bully Ray was just so much better. Well, it's because wow. Bully Ray had more of the could definitely play the the angry redneck. You know what I mean, like the the angry, you know, I, informed white guy a lot better. Uh, that kind of what's you know, and, and I think that kind of helped. Uh, and I think that's kind of helped Bully Ray get over. I mean, one of the first parts of Bully Ray's. Um, emergence as a heel was going on about how he was Team 3D, about how he carried um, Devon and yeah. everything. And when you look at the two of them over their career, over what roles they filled, you you find yourself going, yeah, I could see that. Well, Devon was the straight man. I mean, that's what he was. He was the foil for Bully Ray to kind of be, he was that foundation that Bully Ray could then leap off of, like Joe was saying, where he could be the angrier one. Anyway, Garvin, you got a point to bring in? Go, buddy. I also share everyone's uh, general anger that Bully Ray hasn't been given that shot. You know, that the real quality, consistent title shot. But at the same time, if you look, if you take a step back and look at this, I mean, they're really both taking the same role right now. And that is, they are the veterans putting over the younger talent. So Bully Ray is being used to put over Robert Roode and um, James Horn. will be that way. Devon, just because he has a title doesn't mean he's going to be keeping the title. Um, he he obviously has the experience of being a trainer in his own school. TNA can now use him in that role here and give him a reason to actually be on TV because previously he didn't really have a reason to be on TV. Yeah. So, but- so I'm actually okay with this um, for that reason. But I would love to see Bully Ray hold – some type of singles gold. I, I wouldn't say he necessarily deserves it, but, you know, like over a Devon, but he definitely deserves it on the quality of work that he has been doing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you look at Bully Ray as a singles talent since Team 3D broke up, and you're absolutely right, Garf. I mean, Bully Ray deserves it on that alone. You don't have to look at his legacy and think, well, this guy clearly deserves gold. He's Bully freaking Ray. You know, you can look and go, this guy has done amazing work since they stopped doing the tag thing. Yeah. If Bully Ray had just come in and had not been a part of 3D, if if he had come in like an Austin Aries or something, if he Mickey James did, right, he'd he'd have gold by now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, okay. From the chat, his work has been that good. Here we go. From the chat, basically what I was saying, 
Uh, Bound for Glory, Devon versus Ray, tables match, loser retires. Yeah, I can Possibility? see that. Rob's on it. Joe, Kev? I can see it. Kev? I can see it happening. I don't know if I'd be down with it. Yeah, I can see it happening too, but only because, you know, in the back of my mind, I can't help but look at this and think Devon's on his way out. But, you know, I mean, hopefully I'm wrong and Darwin's right. I mean, having the two of them in is going to be great. Well, you've heard our thoughts, but now we want to hear from you. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter, and even join us live every Tuesday at 8 p.m. at the FTWpodcast.com. 